All right, good morning, everybody. Today's video is going to be my tour of Minnesota. For those who don't know what that is, it's the video I've been advertising for a while where I'm going to drive down to Minneapolis and show you guys all five major sports stadiums we have here. Now, sadly, I can't go inside, but we're still going to go outside and look at them. And the stadiums, by the way, are U.S. Bank, Target Field, Target Center, XL Energy Center, and then the soccer one, which is, I think, Lions Stadium or something. Anyway, we do have to go drop Buxton off at my dad's room. Real quick so he can watch him during the day because this might take a while and it might be a late upload so I apologize in advance for that but now as you guys can see it's 705 and we got to hit the road so I will see you in a bit all right so I dropped Buxton off now and first order of business is we need to go get coffee because I'm about to flip out like you don't understand when you start your morning off with a drink for five years straight and then you go without it first thing in the morning it throws your entire mood off like right now everything is annoying me everything I see is bothering me also, I kind of find it ironic that the one day I'm going to go do stuff outdoors, it's raining. I will take a campfire mocha, please. Is that hot ice or blended? Uh, hot, please. 641 at the window. Thank you. 641 for a cup of coffee? Wyatt, you're a boomer. You don't go to Caribou often. Yeah, because it's six fucking dollars. What? Dude, this is just like when restaurants charge you $2 for a slice of toast when you can just go get a whole loaf of bread for $2. Ah. Now we're ready to hit the road though. Our first stop is actually gonna be Target Field and that's where the Twins play. It's about an hour away from where I am. However, it's kind of cool because the Target Center, home of the Timberwolves and Lynx, is literally right across the street. Little update for you guys. We are still on the road. We're in a town called Albertville though. And what you're seeing is the Albertville Mall, if you guys can see that. That mall is 10 times better than the Mall of America. Like 10 times better. Look how bad the air quality is here. Can you guys see the skyline? Now we're getting there. Huh, didn't even realize it, but we're actually right underneath the Target Center too. This is a weird stadium because the court is raised. Like the court is on the same level as like the skywalk and stuff. Okay, so this is actually super cool. We're literally underneath Target Field right now, like in the parking ramp. I didn't know that you could just come down here publicly. It's like three bucks an hour to park. It's not even bad. Anyway, first stop, Target Field. All right, here we are. Hey, is that an Uber scooter? I should take that. Oh, nice. That guy is just uh, enjoying his beautiful morning. Definitely not tripping out on drugs. Yeah, I'm not sure where we can all go. So I'm just gonna kind of walk around and see what views we can get. There's Buxton. It's the unfinished GTA building. I'm sorry, it is so loud here, but this is the gate where you normally enter. Really wish I could go inside, that'd be sick. Got this like cool artwork, as if people are ever actually happy watching this stupid fucking team. Hey, Max Kepler, how you doing? Batting above 100 yet, you asshole? Oh, I suppose this is the main shot that you see a lot of the times in pregame. There's once again the unfinished GTA building. Um, I don't want to walk down there. That looks like I'm going to get offered drugs, and if I refuse, I'm going to get stabbed. Here's all the banners. Carlos Correa, Byron Buxton. Oh my gosh. So here is a pretty bad but decent shot of how close the two stadiums are. So obviously this is another entrance of Target Field. And if you see right there what I'm pointing at, like that flat top, that is Target Center. And I believe this is Ken Herbeck. I think it was the Atlanta Braves that we beat when he literally pulled the guy off the bag. I had to get a jab on the Braves somehow. They're destroying us right now. And there is the Target Center. There's the little Target dog though. I mean, that's realistically about the only cool thing on the outside of the Target Center. I mean, it's just in the middle of Minneapolis. You know, Pablo, I'm cool with you. I love you, but I miss Luis and I miss his bat right now. Here's a pretty good shot. And once again, there is more Target Center. If I really wanted, I could probably walk to the top of this parking ramp and look into the stadium, but I'm just not doing that. All right, I did it anyway, we're here. This is what makes vlogs good, right? I gotta go out of my comfort zone. I feel like there's gotta be a view somewhere. You know, I'd get up there and get a look, but I feel like if I stood on that ledge, I'd have Jim Carrey sing and jumper to me in five seconds. Wish you'd take a step back from that ledge, my friend. Hey, there we go. I wonder who's warming up down there. Taking a little BP? Well, boys, we made it. This is pretty cool. It was a backstage pass to Raw and SmackDown in this elevator. All right, guys, we are going to U.S. Bank Stadium now, and it's only a mile away, so I wanted to walk, but I'm not going to lie. I'm not comfortable at all walking around down here. All right, so I found a parking ramp, but I had to go all the way to the top, dude. This is such a 
full ramp. And well, 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 look what we have here covered in smoke because of the air quality. So a lot more peaceful over here, like a ton less hectic. This thing is called the Armory, I believe. It's just like a huge concert venue. It used to be literally an armory for tanks though, way, way, way back when. And here we are, the big battleship. Got this cool like Viking arch thing. And of course the stadium. Dude, I got a rocking headache right now. I think this air quality is actually like kind of getting to me. Damn, dude, this place is massive. Ah, there's the boat. Oh, and it's got the big sail. That's a billboard. This thing is definitely awesome. Okay, she was doing crack. All right, it is crazy windy here. I don't know if I'm supposed to walk in this place, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Still on the outside, I mean, we're not even making a dent as to how big this thing is, dude. This might actually take 30 minutes to walk around. Kind of a cool view. I wonder if we're gonna run into Justin Jefferson. Holy shit, administration, Vikings. Is this literally the fucking player lot? No way. Media, press, dude, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. There is a legitimate chance I feel like I could run into JJ. Here's another shot on the back side of US Bank. I mean, this has got to be at least 60 feet tall, right? Hey, I'm not wrong. Well, guys, I think this is about it for US Bank, though. I don't got a whole lot more that I can show you. Unfortunately, like I said, I can't go inside any of these stadiums. I tried, but really hard to get in contact with anybody. Still not walked around the entire fucking place yet. Like, this is nuts. Another look at the plaza. And uh, yeah, now we go. So I was actually going to rent one of those Lime scooters, but it says no riding on the sidewalk and I, I don't know where the hell else I would ride it. Like I'm not riding it on the streets, so therefore I'm not going to ride one. All right, so I thought we'd be going to XL, but we're actually going to stop at Alliance Field. Don't mind the homeless person there. Um, this is where the Minnesota Loons play. It's actually a pretty cool stadium and I did not know it was on the way. All right, so we're going to make this extremely fast because I should not be parking where I am parking. I didn't end up parking at the McDonald's because I couldn't get in there and you can't get in any of these parking lots. But yeah, this is Alliance Stadium. I'm going to go right in the front so we can get a nice view of it. It actually looks awesome. And I don't think they're actually called the Minnesota Loons. I think it's called the Minnesota United but the mascot is a loon, so to me, it's the fucking loons. Hey, Minecraft building. Dang, this is actually really, really cool. This is so nice. You can actually kind of see through the windows into the stadium, too. I'm going to walk up there. Now I kind of want to go to a game. I'm not going to lie. I might have to. When does soccer season start? Oh, there's the field. Yeah, I low-key want to go to a game now. Yo, what's up, motherfuckers? So we got one stadium left, and it's the XL Energy Center. It's like five miles away, or five minutes maybe it was. And after that, we're going to head back home. But I am going to stop somewhere for lunch and try and do a little food review. So I'm going to look for a place I haven't been before. All right, so we made it. Now we just got to walk down there. Kind of sucks, dude. They charged me $10 to park here. I had to pay $12 at U.S. Bank Stadium. Obviously, they're cheaper the farther they are away, unless you're at Target Field, where you can pay $3 to just park underneath them fucking stadium that made no sense but i was happy all right this is home of the minnesota wild i've been here for a wild game and i've been here for a smackdown and i think aew all out was here or no that was target center or not all out it was full gear or something i don't fucking remember hangman adam page beat uh kenny omega for the belt but we left before the main event started because the event literally lasted seven hours honestly this is kind of lackluster I don't mean to bash on my own team, but like, this is boring as hell. A little shot of St. Paul though. St. Paul is definitely just a way better area than Minneapolis. Ooh. Well, those buildings are connected, so we can't walk around it. Try and go around the other side. I paid 10 fucking dollars to park here. I'm not going to waste it. I don't know, guys. This is like a four out of 10 to me. I mean, I understand the Target Center for being terrible because it's in the middle of a bunch of buildings. Not that this isn't, but they could have definitely added some architecture. Look at all this space. There's our state capital, by the way. Yeah, I think that's it though. I mean, that's the last stadium we needed to see. Made a really good time. It's only 10.55, so like, we got down here and we got to work. All right, so I know I said I was gonna go somewhere that I haven't tried before, but on the way home, I actually couldn't find anywhere that I hadn't tried before. So I'm back in my hometown, but I stopped at a Culver's. So we'll get something from here and maybe I'll look at the menu and try something I haven't had before from Culver's. I will just do the Culver's bacon deluxe single meal with a root beer and then uh, small on the fries is fine. Got my food. Unfortunately, it was nothing new because they didn't have anything cool like a cheese curd burger or anything. So we got a bacon deluxe double fries and a root Beer. Culver's is actually cool because I hate crinkle cut fries, but these are actually good. I'd probably give these like an 8 out of 10, honestly. The root beer at Culver's, house made as well, delicious root beer. But now it's time to eat what we came here for. I ordered a single, they gave me a double. Look at that beast. 
It's so good. Mmm. I hate how greasy it is, but I love it at the same time. Burger's a 9.5. Anyway, guys, I'm probably going to end the vlog now, though. I'm just going to go pick up Buxton, bring him to my house, and then work on this video. Hope you guys liked this video. Hope you had fun. If you want to show support, you know what to do. But with everything I just said, I'm going to get this edited. So I will see you guys in the next video.